Welcome back to the program. With me tonight, coach of Craig Bathwick from the Colonial School, Roddy Estrick, and also with us tonight, former West Indies B team, wicket keeper, and now columnist in the Nation newspaper, mm -hmm. talking about Mike Wall. Uh, these are the two gentlemen joining me tonight as we look. First of all, at under 15 Craig at the International Tournament, and also Craig Bathwick. First of all, coach, I'm going to give you first toss. When you look at how Craig Bathwick has played his cricket, he has scored 29 centuries. Those centuries have been scored from uh, the time he was at Erdiston School, um, then he went to Condomere, but he's played various levels of cricket, not just on the 15, not the BT on the 15 tournament, but also the St. Gary tournament uh, for playing for Erdiston and the Herman Griffith, and some other tournaments in between, trials and so on. Break down those 29 centuries and tell me really the value of a 14-year-old having uh, such a uh, run scoring history. Um, good night, Barry. Um, good night, Michael. Um, nice to see you. Um, <laughs> good night, Roddy. I think when you look at Craig, he's totally different from any 14-year-old you, you would meet. Um, he's very, very good at, um, at um, adjusting the pitches and, and deciding what what shots not to play, and and then his shot selection is, is so very good. So he would know, he would work out from very, very early on in, in his innings what what is a high percentage shot and what is a what is a worse shot according to the pitches if it's it, um so no matter where he goes he, he's able to adapt to the conditions because he understand pitches so very well now michael you have been looking very carefully at um, how youngsters in Barbados and the rest of the region have been developing and you think that the the growth has been kind of stagnated now we have seen some quite graphics come around or cricket ready, let's not hide it, Edison Rock, uh, Sean Graham, Sean Sargent, none of them are making any great impact today. They too were very prolific at the under 15 level. Do you think, seriously, as we talked before the show, that for Craig Brackett to take it to the next level, that he can't do it in Barbados, he has to go overseas? Well, Barry, there's no doubt that Craig Braff Braffitt is head and shoulders above those play the, the players of his age. However, I feel, I've, I've seen no evidence to show that youngsters um, have developed after they have left school. From the, to me, from the time they get into um, the clubs, the cricket is doomed. And um, well, I know Roddy has been doing quite a bit of work with Craig, but as I say, when these guys leave the school, everything goes downhill. Well, let's take a look and, uh, at, at Craig Bathwood and see his strengths and weaknesses because this year um, he got to 122 in the first game against Malaysia. Really, talk me through how Craig Bathwood goes through a, a process of batting. You spoke earlier about him having the ability that you haven't seen in other young cricketers and that is reading the, the pitch quite early. Uh, is that something that you taught him? Is that something that he, he, he just came with a natural talent? Well, I think that came with a natural talent from, from the time he came over from Erliston to Colomere. I remember us playing Harrison College and on the 15 game he, he was just into first form and he, and he got a hundred and you could see from very very early on the pitch was a bit unprepared and you could see from very early on that Craig knew exactly what shots not to play and, and he, he proceeded with his shot selection and once he got into the 70s you could see him also even becoming, becoming a little bit more careful working the ball around prepared himself for a hundred you knew straight away there's a guy who wanted to make a hundred and there's a guy who was going to make a hundred having seen him quite for quite some time, um, you know, to me he's, he has a, a bias of playing through the onside. Um, is this a real bias or is it just a matter of uh, short selection at the, the preferred ball? Well, obviously, um, he, most cricketers do tend to like one side or the other. Um, Craig seem to, to like the leg side a little bit more than the offside, but, but his shot selection, like I said, is, is so very good. But it's something that he's working on, it's something that he, he's conscious, conscious of, it's something that he wants to improve on. He spends a lot of time trying to improve his offside play, and, and you must remember that Craig is a very, very hard worker. In the nets, he, he's always looking to improve. Um, just after he got 850 odd runs in the under 15, um, he was back looking to improve, looking to improve his technique, ask some questions, where can I improve, where can I get better, and that's the nature of, of, the, of the young man. You see Barry, I'm looking at Craig two years down the road, and for what Roddy is telling me, his, his progress seems to be, to, be, to be dependent on what he does. There must when you say he, you mean Craig? What Craig, what Craig does. Mm -hmm. there, there must be systems in place that, that, that are there to take not only Craig graphic, but other